Good afternoon, sir. Sit down, sit down. Now, before we move on to the major business of the day, I should like to broach the question of Mr. Bean. Now, Mr. Bean has worked for us for many years. And will for many years to come. I employed this splendid young man when I was doing your job, Charles. And you can have my resignation if you go anywhere near him. Fine young fellow. Absolutely. Quite right. Uh, very well, moving on. Um, the Grierson Gallery of California needs a representative of our great gallery. They are looking for a scholar of the very high standing. I have therefore decided to recommend for the post and the three months sabbatical that goes with it that splendid employee. Mr. Bean. <laughs> All those in favor? Yes! Excellent. Carry it. Our loss is America's gain. <clears throat> David, I got a letter from the Royal National Gallery. They're recommending a guy called Bean to represent them. Bean? Oh. I can't say I've heard of him. A oh, letter signed by Drs. Rosenblum and Cutler. Well, that's impressive. Mm -hmm. They say he's a man whose incontrovertible genius dwarfs our own meager talents. Rosenblum and Cutler said that. Mm. Well, you asked for England's top man. I do believe I delivered him. Yeah, he certainly sounds like it. Uh... Yeah, however, before we confirm, Bernice here still feels that we get more media attention <clears throat> if we had someone from, let's say, the entertainment industry. I genuinely believe that we could get John Bon Jovi. John Bon Jovi? Twin Veil Whistler's mother? Yes. I have nothing against John Bon Jovi. The man has had two great hairstyles in the last 10 years, which is an achievement not to be sniffed at. But so far as I know, Mr. Jovi knows absolutely nothing about 19th century Impressionism. Certainly he hasn't mentioned it in any of his recent songs. No, but David. This is not a rock video. This is a great and serious work of art. And Dr. Bean will give the occasion depth and dignity. You all right? We go with Bean. No, 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 no. David's our curator. This is David's call. It's his decision, his responsibility. Ultimately, his neck. And where do you want him to stay? I have a rather interesting idea. Here? In our house? For two months? Oh, David, what? Suddenly there's no hotels in Los Angeles? Okay, there's no need to get excited here. I just thought, you know, this is the Royal National Gallery of England's top man. I thought it'd be very exciting to have around, to learn from, and uh -huh. talk to. And... So do we know anything about our new best friend? No, I think they might have mentioned it if he was a notorious serial killer. Are you feeling lucky, punk? <laughs> David, you know, we have an expression in this country. It says, over my dead body. Allie. I'd like to put it on the table right here and this, now. This is a once in a lifetime opportunity. And it could be seriously great for the kids. You're kidding. Come on, it's gonna be great. Let's say there is a chart of the most intelligent people you've ever met in your life. Well, at number one with a bullet is Dr. Bean. Kevin, you know, sometimes you ask me questions that I can't answer. Like what is an interuterine device? Yeah, I, well, I think more like what's the meaning of life. I never asked you that. It's fine. It, it, it doesn't matter. What I am saying here is that Dr. Bean is a very remarkable man. 
Hey, hey, for all you know, he could be very cute. Oh, come on, the guy is gonna be a creep. All Englishmen are ugly. I just look at Prince Charles and weep. Okay, so he's gonna look like Meatloaf's butt. Yeah, and that's if we get lucky. Jennifer, no one is asking you to marry him. You know, I don't know why we have these family conferences if Dad's already made up his mind. Perceptive child. Hey, what's wrong with Meatloaf's butt? Oh, come on, everybody, it's gonna be great. Dr. Bean is a genius of the very highest order. Good evening. Ah, <laughs> uh, no, sir, you're in section first. Good evening. Oh. 